Sylvia Atlasa, the Doyen of Dance, without a shadow of doubt, one of the most influential cultural icons of our time. A risk taker, a life changer, a boundary breaker, and eternally a teacher. As the news of her upcoming departure from SA to permanently settle in the UK brought a sense of sadness to her industry, she chose to look at it differently. And her goodbye, Staging Threads, one of her most revered pieces which looks at the place of a woman in society. So I joined her and her troupe of dancers during one of their rehearsals this week. And to let you in on who exactly Sylvia Tlasa is, I asked her collaborator in this piece, poet Lebu Mashile, to spell it out for us. Sylvia Glasa is a South African cultural icon. She is the founder of Moving Into Dance. She's a dance educator. She's a pioneer within South African dance. Um, Moving Into Dance is 37 years old. It was founded literally in her garage and has gone on to produce some of the best black dancers who have gone on to take South African culture all over the world from Vincent Mansue to Gregory Makoma. There's something in the education that moving into dance gives to dancers that equips them for life not just as artists but as people she's not given the platforms status money support that she deserves in this country um, but she continues to persevere and continues to give and continues to build people and she couldn't have said it better what kind of a woman leaves affectionately known as magogo Glasa is a multi-award winner, and according to her, the best compliment she has ever been paid to date came last year when King Willem Alexander of the Netherlands awarded her a knighthood in the Order of Aranya Nassau for her contribution to democracy and the arts during and after apartheid. Part of me feels um, really blessed and fulfilled that... I've had the opportunity, I've made the opportunity to transform young people, you know, under apartheid, young black people, and and since then economically um, disadvantaged people, to transform their lives, um, to give them a career, to, to break the cycle of poverty, and at the same time, to do what I love, which is teach and choreograph. And also, um, I have a gift, which is to mentor and to develop other young choreographers. And even after all that, Tlasa still maintains that nothing means more to her than people. I sometimes feel that I'm so many people. I am... A woman, a woman with with feelings, I'm a wife, I'm a mother, but my life has been spent as a dancer, choreographer, teacher of dance. I'm a people person. What's important to me more than anything else are people. And the proof lies in the host of dancers and choreographers who came from under her wing through the company she founded against the apartheid laws in the 70s, some of whom have become sought-after stars. Uh, she, she has taught me a lot and in terms of creating works, in terms of cho- uh, choreographing, and also she's, I would say she's one of my mentors in terms of creating because I look up to her in terms of all the work that I've created. I've created under her supervision like in terms of guiding me, in terms of how can I grow my work and how can I uh, grow as an artist and as, also as a choreographer. This Women's Month, I take my hat off to Sylvia Tlasa for her amazing strength and patience for proving that it really does take a community to raise a child and that her part in that community is played fully. Now I have uh, a family and now I know how to take care of that family um, from the ethos and the values that she she has uh, brought into the company that she's created in 1978. Um, Now I'm raising a family of two boys and I'm taking care of my wife so well and I think we'll be together for quite a long time and the the, the values that she has taught me um, um, are playing a big part in my life now. For Morning Live, I am Dumi Sidumedi in Johannesburg.
great profile piece there. Now, happy Women's Month to Sylvia Glass.